Welcome to Monster Hunter World with Strawberry and Pop-Tart and today we are gonna go and hunt this awesome monster called the Culver Tarot. There it is, at last. So let's prep up and let's get a team together because this monster cannot be slain by yourself. It needs up to 16 people to defeat it. So we are gonna go and fly Do this. with our ropes and find where this beast resides. Luckily, lots of people are trying to help us. Culver Tarath can be found in caverns of El Dorado. Or in other words, the Golden Land. And there it is, the Golden Elder Dragon, nicely, calmly, waiting for us. And we missed a hit! That's okay, because we can go back up there, swing above it, and find a better way to attack it. Let's fly around a bit. And let's meet up with our friends down there, because there's only four of us. So, there's the monster again, and let's try to go and hover above it. Look at the size of that beast. Hayley is trying to hit it with a gun, and we are trying to jump on its back and hit it with an almighty axe. which is more difficult than ever. The Culver Tarath is getting slightly angry and trying to run through the walls. Which was a mistake because a load of rocks are falling on him and it's unconscious. So that's good for us because we can now stop chopping away to get the rewards. Everyone's joining in, and the Culver Tarath is getting back on its feet. Slowly but surely, it's going away. But we tried to jump on its back still, unsuccessfully. But the best place to be is above it. Let's try again, and this time we were successful, so... We keep on chopping this majestic beast. Its scales are so gold and so big that we get lost at its back. But we keep on chopping the beast. And Cobra Tarath is getting angrier than ever. Wow, did you see those majestic chores? He's starting to melt metal at his back. You see it melting the metal at his back. It's turning red and hot. Wow, what a creature. Scrolling on floor trying to get rid of us. But it's a bit slow for us. And there it is! The Culver Tarot is laying down. Look at that evil snake-like face. Let's chop down these horns with a mighty flash. Yes! We just chopped off a heap load of armor. Wow! Let's chop some more of its horns. Sabine is trying to do her best, but we keep on chopping their horns. Because this is the valuable material for new armor. Wow, look at the beast flaming! And more bits fall off. It is time to collect them. <laughs> Funnily enough, this beast leaves a tiny little beast that tries to attack us. 
and there is quite few of them. So, in order to get some of that material that we just dropped, we need to get rid of those small ones here. That look like angry little fish, which they are. So, we unsuccessfully tried to get rid of them. Failing that, we just go gathering the materials. Which the little one did not agree with and popped us. But we didn't mind and can keep on chopping our materials. Beautiful. So scattered coal chip and we off we go. And golden scales. That's everything we need. Now let's get running after the beast. Where has it gone? Chop an axe and let's get battle ready. We are sure that the monster is nearby. Here are the little ones. Now, with skill, let's go downhill here. And there it is the Colvatar looking rather angry. Let's kick a rock. And let's go and attack the beast, who is rather angry, so we keep on chopping the forelegs and its tail, which is now completely covered in molten metal. The Culver Terror is rolling around, the place you don't want to be, because that would hurt. So we keep on chopping whatever we can chop. The Colvatarath is rolling around once more. Wow! Look at the flaming mouth! And we go to a place that's safest of all, underneath the beast. Yes, and we can make a lot of damage being underneath the beast. It's one of the most beautiful monsters you can ever come across with. So let's keep on chopping that thing. And she fell down. She fell down. It is now our job to chop it more. Let's keep on chopping it. And more molten metal fell off the Elder Dragon. All our team is joining in. Wow. Look at the mayhem that's going on underneath the gigantic monster belly. I know it's in a hole, so let's keep on chopping it. Wow, we got a lot of damage. Let's heal up. Look at the majestic giant. And let's join in the fight. Up we go. We need to attack it from above. That's perfect, and let's hit the ground in front of it. Wow, that was a bad effort, but nevertheless, Don't let up. the monster's got a lot of damage. And we need to go and fight it again, because that's part of the mission. The Kurva Terra's basic design philosophy is based on the Greek myth of a ram with a golden fleece. Let's sit down, let's wait for the lava to cool down our team together and let's head back to the monster. Yes, yes, mister. We are going now, no need to chop us, let's go. There it is, inside of a lava pit that this monster has just created. So let's keep on chopping this molten metal as hard as we can. Because that beast is a very difficult thing to fight. Whoa, it just come down with a bang. 
Look at those mighty chores and the big horns. And the metal that's falling off at its back. It's like a lizard covered in molten lava and molten gold. Colvaterath cannot be slain, just repelled. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, the most beautiful monster you have ever seen. And wow, once again, it's rolling down, doing a lot of damage. Let's try to avoid the lava. Charge up the axe and hit it. Hit it with all of the might. Wow, that was a lot of damage done to us and a lot of damage done to the Culver Terrace. Let's keep away, pick some bits up and faint. I think it was because we had missed that breakfast. So I reckon we should go back, gather some materials and have some breakfast and then go fight again. Down the hill we go. Beautiful, the fireflies are really useful this time. Now let's jump into this hole here. Right, so. Watch yourself! And back we are with Culver Terrace, who is very, very angry. But we are very, very hungry. So let's gather some materials. Quite a few of them. The Culver Terrace is building something at the background and climbing through it. I think it found a better ground to go to. An elder dragon that protects itself with a glittering coat of metal. Its ecology and coat differ with each appearance. So let's gather some food supplies from those tiny little creatures. Beautiful, beautiful. They are feisty beasts, but you can get quite a lot of nice stuff from them. There. And one more. There you go. Beautiful. Right, so now we can go and head to the camp, fill our bellies. with some fancy meat platter. Hmm, yum, yum, yum. Now, belly is full. We are back into the battle. Up here, follow the fireflies. Slide down a hill. Avoid the bats and jump into the hole. We are back at the lava pit. So, where's the Culver Tarot? The lava, as you can see, does quite a bit of damage. So let's put on a special gear and let's follow the monster. There it is, it has cooled down quite a bit. And now it's blowing an almighty flame of fire! Fire, fire, everywhere! Oh my, oh dear. This monster's all about the fire. But as you can see, it doesn't melt anymore. So now we can climb up and jump at it and hit it as much as we can. Unfortunately, the ceiling is falling down with lava and the monster is also blowing a lot of fire. This is a dangerous place to be. This is all about molten metal and fire. So let's jump and jump into the fire, which was a mistake. But luckily, the dinner has saved us because now we feel much stronger. Let's heal up. Let's go to this beautiful, beautiful Elder Dragon. And... Watch yourself. Let's go and knock it down. Chop. 
beautiful do you see those colorful horns absolutely gorgeous let's charge your axes and let's keep on chopping this monster that's laying down wow wow it's scraping the land with his horns beautiful wow the lava's falling from the ceiling and we will try and avoid this massive tail let's climb up a pillar and jump at it wow we missed it again this battle is getting more and more amazing by a second one of our teammates has fainted The monster is still active as anything and blowing fire everywhere, which we need to avoid. Wow, this massive horde slam on the ground. Let's chop its paws and its heads. The lava is still falling down the ceiling. Dangerous, very dangerous. We managed to hit its tail and fell down. The beast is stirring up some more lava. Let's be underneath it and chop its belly. Beautiful, beautiful. That's a lot of damage done. Let's climb the pillar and chop at it and hit it. Beautiful. You see the bits and bobs flying off its armor. It is not an easy monster, but the almighty final blow did it. The monster is down, it's retreating to its lair because this monster cannot be slain, only to be scared away. But it doesn't matter because this Culver Tarot has dropped a heap load of beautiful, beautiful metal for us to collect. And footprints, of course. Look at the size of those horns. Wow! Wow, look at the size of these horns that fell off the monster's head. Let's have a bit of this and a little bit of this horn as well. This is the most gorgeous yield we have yet to get. And all thanks to the effort of the team. Let's have some more footprints. And let's dance to the glory. Beautiful. This is our victory dance. At our best. Swing around the hips underneath the lava falls. Beautiful. This is Strawberry and Pop Tart. My name is Iroxan Lady. It was a team effort to kill the Culver Tarot. Thank you so much for watching. And goodbye.